Hi, this is Sridhar again. In the previous session, we have discussed uh, about the util file package, where we discussed uh, uh, if you want to open a file, if you want to do any kind of file operation, then you have to use the open f open function. You are opening the file and doing some manipulations. You are writing some string or writing some value into that file from the PLSQL procedure, and uh, if you want to write some string or if you want to write some value into the file you will be using put line or put procedure or putf procedure put line means and all these three three procedures will accept two parameters one is the file handler and the another one is the buffer variable and put line means automatically one empty line will be appended at the end and put procedure means it will not append any empty line at the end and it will not allow any kind of format specifier like percentage s or percentage slash n whereas the putf means put format with the formatting put procedure with the formatting and the putf procedure will accept the format specifier like percentage s and also slash n and f close and f close all f close all means if you open multiple files and you want to close all the files in single shot then you can use f close underscore all now we are going to discuss about how and we also discussed how you will write into your file how will you write a variables that is hello world how will you write a line into the file as well now we are going to discuss about how will you write the contents present in a table into a flat file and the delimiter should be a comma how will you write the contents present in the table from the table into a flat file the same syntax are used here let me explain one by one first we are creating the file handler since we are doing file operation definitely you have to use fopen function util file dot fopen which file you are going to open the user directory the location where the file resides and the emp data dot csv and you want to write into the file till now we are discussing how you will write into the file so the mode the file mode should be w or it may be append also append means a the user directory in the user directory see here it is c colon slash temp we are writing a file called emp data dot csv and the file mode is w and what are the contents you are going to write we are going to write the contents present in a table called employees we are going to write the contents present in the table called employees into the flat file emp dot csv emp dot csv we are going to write the contents present in the table let me execute this table separately yes there are some contents nearly 106 or 107 number of rows are there yes 106 number of rows are there using the for loop i guess you might be knowing about this for loop and the cursors also but anyhow i will explain it now for i in for the variable i in all the records present in the employees so first it will fetch the first record for the in the first iteration the i variable will be having the first row and in the second iteration the i variable will be having the second row second row of the employees table so what it will do if it fetch the first row of the employees table it will write the contents present in the first row into the flat file so how it will write using the put line function using the put line function util file dot put line and inside the parenthesis the first parameter is the file handler the file handler is emp underscore file comma what are the values you are going to write we are going to write the first two values the employee id and the first name these two values we are going to write it into the file handler emp file where the file handler emp file is pointing to the emp data dot csv and the location is user that is c colon slash temp here so only the two values we are going to write since the i variable is having all the column values for the first row F first it is pointing to the first row the first row 
the i variable will be having all these values out of all these values i want to get only the employee id and the first name so to get only the employee id and the first name i will be using i dot the column name i dot the employee id and i dot the first name and i am going to write these two values into the file handler emp underscore file so i am also using the concatenation operator so employee id concatenated with the comma symbol and the comma symbol is enclosed within single quotes followed by the concatenate symbol and the first name so these two values will be concatenated and the delimiter will be the comma symbol into the emp file that is a file handler i am proceeding with this using the loop since it is a for loop no need to mention any condition for exit so once all the uh, records in the employees tables are processed it will exit and once it exits we have to close the file f close of emp file handler emp file that is a file handler let me execute before that clear yes it's completed if you want i can clear this and rerun it again it's rerun yes completed emp data underscore csv file is created let me open yes we have all the records of the employee table how many records are there 106 records are there let me check yes 106 number of records are there and we got only the employee id and the first name if you want you can include all the columns delimited with the comma symbol as i mentioned here let me execute this and comment the previous one so now i am writing the employee id i dot employee id first name last name and everything email phone number everything delimited by the symbol comma and i am writing all the values into the emp file handler emp underscore file file handler everything i am writing into the file handler that is emp data dot csv file let me execute this output yeah execute it's done open this file yes i got the output and all the values are written into the flat file emp data dot csv let me check 106 records are there yes 106 number of records are there in this way you can write the contents present in the table into the flat file using the for loop i have some more examples you can also write the contents of a table into the flat file using cursor and using bulk collect also let me execute how will you write the contents present in the table into a flat file using cursor this one i am using using cursor i am writing into the writing the tables contents into the flat file first i am opening the file using util file dot f open and passing three parameters the first one is the directory where the file resides and emp data dot csv this file i am going to write it already file is there so since we are using write mode it will be overwritten the file will be overwritten no matter even if it already exists and assigning this open f open statement to the file handler emp file and this file is returning since it is returning util file dot file type i am declaring this variable as emp file as util file dot file type in the declaration part also and then previously previously i listed the contents present in the file using the for loop now i am going to list the contents present in the table using cursor so i am declaring the cursor i hope you know about cursor um, if you are not aware of the cursor 
i will take a further session about cursor alone in the upcoming class in any future classes now just check just remember that you are declaring the cursor cursor followed by the cursor variable is you can give the select statement select star from employees and all the records present in the employees that is 106 number of records present in the employees will be stored now in the cursor variable c1 all the variables present in the employees table will be stored now in the cursor variable c1 and if you want to get the contents present in the employees table now you can access it through the cursor variable c1 and assigning this data type c1 percentage row type c1 percentage row type means in the cursor how many rows are there in c1 c1 is the cursor in cursor how many rows are there how many rows are there in select star from employees 106 number of rows are there so the same 106 number of rows will be available in c1 also so i am declaring the c1 percentage row type means it will fetch each and every row it will fetch each and ev every row and as and it will be assigned it to the variable i and then opening the cursor to open the cursor you will be using open the cursor variable open c1 and the cursor will be having 106 number of rows so each and every row i am i will be fetching and then doing some manipulation and then coming back again fetching the second record doing some manipulation again coming back like that i will be doing so i have to, i will be doing the, all these uh, operations inside the loop loop and end loop the first statement is fetch c1 into i fetch c1 into i means i will be fetching the cursor variable and the first record not the first record the first row it has 106 number of rows and the first row will be fetched and it will be assigned into and it will be stored into the i variable what is the i variable i variable is the c1 percentage row type the entire row will be assigned here in the i variable so c1 percentage row type is one of the data type it's kind of data type and this will be this is store this is assigned to the i variable so i'm fetching the records present in the cursor variable and it is assigned to the i variable whenever you use the loop you have to use the immediately you have to use the exit condition also exit when the cursor percentage not found when the cursor variable percentage not found if it is not found then you exit and next we are, i am using the put line util file dot put line i am writing the contents present in the table into the into the flat file so in the put line there are two parameters first one is the file handler and the second one is the values what are the values i want i will be fetching i will be fetching all the values employee id first name last name email phone number everything so all the values will be fetched using the i variable i dot the employee id because i is the row type declared for this cursor i is the row type which is declared for this cursor c1 so i dot employee id means it will fetch the first row in the first for the first iteration i dot employee id will fetch the first row employee id and in the second iteration it will fetch the second row the employee id like that it will fetch till it reaches the end of the record and all these values will be written into the emp file handler and the next one is a new line new line means even you can also append one or two empty lines specific one or two specific empty lines if you want to if you want to append three number of empty lines even, even you can give it like this new line means it will append three number of empty lines to the emp file handler if you didn't give anything it will append only one empty line and giving closing the loop and closing the file as well let me execute it's completed opening the file if you see here there are three new lines inserted after each and every record this is because we have given util file dot new line of the emp file comma three three means there are there will be three lines 
empty lines inserted after each and every line and that is the purpose of using this function new line function and all the values will be written into this the flat file all the values that is employee id first name last name everything will be written into the this emp data file in this way you can write the contents present in the table into the flat file next we will be discussing about uh, the same concept using bulk collect now i will bind up the session thank you